today I'm bringing you another unboxing video. I um, bought a few things online recently, um, so I've had to actually open the package just to see if it's what I thought, but I haven't gone any further than that. I'm going to have 100% genuine reactions on whether it's any good, whether it's not. I'm in no way um, affiliated with them. Uh, I'm not being sponsored by them, so you will get my genuine, um, if it's good, it's good, if it's rubbish, it's not, um, kind of reactions. So um, let's get on, let's have a look at it. So this is a parcel that arrived this morning for me. As I say, I have already opened it, but it purely to see what it was in there. So I've, I've ordered a few things, and it was what I thought. So let's have a look. It's not badly packaged, you know. Um, as long as there's nothing breakable in here, it should be fine. The funny thing is, is all of the eBay sellers, only one of them said it came with this pouch, but all of them had it pictured. Oh. Pouch is already falling to pieces if you have a look at all the bits and bobs, but it doesn't matter. And they were wrapped quite nicely, so that's good. Wow, it's even got the balloon pen. Do you know what? This has, this has got more than it said. Now, it didn't also mention that there was the um, the sharpening stones in there. And the good thing is, I've actually got my own set of these exact stones. But all the way to 3000 grit, I think. So that would be quite handy. That was another reason why I bought it and you used the same stones I had. Okay, so that's everything out of the case. So that's what you get inside the packaging. Um, they're a bit useless, and so are the suction cups on here. I do have a piece of glass that I often use for um, sharpening my chisels. So I'll see if it will stick onto that. Hopefully it will. And let's have a look at the instructions. Believe it or not, it does have it in English, which doesn't often happen with Chinese things, so. Let's fold it that way and have a look. Okay, it's as straightforward as you'd think. I believe that's... Turn it that way. And lock it. Funny that one goes back further than the other one. They don't the back ones do not stick at all. Front ones do, so that's not so bad. this there is a color scheme if you have a look um, very very poorly drawn um, poorly marked let me see if I can pull that down there's little notches on them and they've got a tiny dash of color in them this there's, there's two that don't at all um, and there's supposed to be a yellow one there so I'm not sure which one's the yellow one okay so it's up this way, and if you have a look, we got blues 24 degrees, yellow 20 degrees, green 18, red 15, and black 10. 
and then we've got the and then it tells you sort of what types of blades you should use thick blade which is a hunting knife pocket knife so on and then a thin a thinner blade um, hunting knife and then we come down to the kitchen knives which are the lower degrees so that's quite handy but as I say the, um, the colors rubbed off on them if it's already rubbed off on two of them and I haven't even used it I don't hold out much hope for it One thing it doesn't say is if you should have it up to the line there or at the bottom or covering it. It doesn't really say. I'm just going to put it over the top at the moment. I'm going to go and get an old knife and just have a little play around. Okay, so I've put that on around 10 degrees. It might be a little bit more. Then this is where you connect the stones. I assume it goes that way. What have we got? 184. I'll start with the 400. Okay, that just holds with the friction fit, and I'm, I'm not sure how well that will hold up, but we shall see. Okay. So this here is the adjustable knife holder. So let's go get a knife. Okay, the one I'm going to sharpen is this. It's a cheap kitchen knife, but it does actually hold quite a nice blade. I, I do often keep this quite sharp. So, let's see about getting this in the right place. Where does it have to go? Do I have to go over the top? See about that. I'm not sure about the knife positioning yet, but I'm just uh, this is all experimentation. Nope. There's yeah, it's holding the knife off the, the thing now. Okay, I think we're gonna have a few teething problems, but once we've set it up properly, I think we'll be alright. That's alright. This bit here, which holds the knife on safely, gets in the way. I wonder if we can do it without that, or I wonder if I'm just making a huge mistake. It's starting to fall over already. Ugh. Doesn't like this being out the way. Okay, so obviously it's Chinese instructions, so it's not as clear as it would I would like to be. It, I would like it to be, but it says make sure that the blade is above the edge of this. So see like that. Now there is a quite a sharp blade on here, but I'm going to try the blue. So I want to see if I can keep the same um, edge that it's got, rather than cutting a new bevel out. That's not the idea. Let's see if that's even sitting in the right position there. Right, well I can already see a major issue. This obviously doesn't slip back through as smoothly as you'd like so I'm going to have to put some oil on that Oop. also then we're going to have to get some honing oil for the the actual stones but this look what keeps wanting to lift up there is no suction whatsoever from this side no the second you put it down it comes straight back up okay so I've just looked everywhere for the honing oil I have 
very cheap stuff, but I can't find it anywhere. Since moving my stuff down here, I just tend to not be able to find anything. So I'm going to put a little dot of WD-40 around this bit. Let's see if that helps us. Yeah, instantly it's better. It still wants to stick though. There we go. So instantly that, that's better. Let's get it all the way out. Put it all the way back in again. There you go. So we've got we've got more forward and backwards action. I'm still gonna have to hold this down though. Okay, so next thing, I don't have honing oil, so I'm going to use the next best thing. A little touch of vegetable oil. Not sure if you know, but the reason you put oil on is just purely to take the bits of metal that have been removed and just keep them out of the way. So basically you're pushing it to one side and it means you've got abrasive left underneath. Otherwise you'd just be basically making a metal and abrasive soup. Okay, so let's have a look. No, I'm still going to have to hold this, aren't I? Let's just really doesn't want to work when you move it to the right angle See that the stone's already wanting to leave and not stay in there. So I'm going to have to come up with a way of making sure that that holds them in. I think maybe a clip up here or something. Nope, want it to come out again. I wonder if that screw's doing anything. Oh, you donut. Okay, so something it didn't say in the user manual, but something I've just tried and it worked. This screws in which would make sense, so that holds it tight. So that is definitely my error, not theirs. Let's have a look, shall we? If you can actually see, it's actually kept the exact same edge as was before rather than making any more as you can see by the line of the blue and it carries on all the way down so it actually has um, sharpened it well not sharpened it I've just taken a bit of it off I'm just testing it obviously but it actually hasn't taken any more of a bevel out than was already there so that's actually pretty damn effective so far I've got to say, even though I've only just gone through it over it with the one stone, there is definite promise for this. Obviously, the fact that it doesn't stick down is a pain in the bum. So this will have to be solved somehow, because if it's not going to sit properly, then you're going to have to use more hands to hold it. And if, if you're getting your hands in the way where they shouldn't be, then you're going to end up with problems. But all in all, so far, I think I quite like this. I'm going to have a few more messes around off camera. And I'll see, you know, I'll sharpen a few knives and we'll see how we get on. Quick tip, as you'll see on these stones, the actual writing is on the front face. So after a while, you don't have any writing on there at all. What I do is I just scratch a little um, number of the grit into it. It's not very visible, but it is enough so that you know after you've used them that you still, you know, you know what grit they are. Because I've got ones that are three, four, five and so on. 
and it would be very difficult to tell the difference between a three and a four and a five if they're unless without getting them all and te touch testing just to show you what I mean these are stones I've used for a while and this is a 400 but and you can know you can just still see it but a few more uses and you wouldn't be able to but on the back 400 it just makes life a lot easier after having a very very close look at this blade you can see where the change in the bevel is it is only slight 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 and it doesn't surprise me as I say this is a very cheap knife but it does hold quite a good blade um, but yeah I, overall just from first impression from first go with this now uh, with this sharpening stuff um, sharpening kit I do actually think that you'll be able to get all the angles you want without having to like make it your own bevels kind of thing so let's get a, another knife so this is my set of whetstones that I already had with the other ones. I have a 3000, a 2000, two 1500s, two 180s, two 800s and two 400s. So it's a bit of a shame they were all repetitions of the ones I've already got. But such is life, I'm not really that bothered. I, I will end up using them. Um, I do have lots of other little sharpening stones and so on and a lot, lot bigger ones but this obviously is all the same ones and they're the ones I use the most often. This already has quite a good blade on it so I'm not going to um, mess with it too much. I'm just going to attempt 3000 grit on it just to see. Okay, that's a little high for the bevel of my blade. No, that's a bit too low now. That's it. Obviously this is one of my favourite knives so I don't want to mess it up, I will check the bevel first. Do you know what, I'm absolutely shocked. That has cleaned that blade up, lovely. I um, haven't been very good with keeping this blade sharp recently. So um, the fact that it's still able to, um, it's, it basically just cleaned up the blade and gave it a, quite a nice sharpen for a few seconds work, you know. It's not going to be the sharpest thing in the world, but... And it's, you can actually feel the blade and where there's tiny tiny problems with the blade so it's very tactile you can you can get a lot of feeling back through the metal rod well i've got to say i'm actually really impressed with that if i just show you what i can the blade's not amazingly dull anyway but it's actually just cleaned up all of the edge um, let me see if I can see where, if you have a look along here for example, we've got a few little errors. And it was like that all the way along. I'm going to do the whole of this one and on both sides and then I'm going to do the sharpness test. Now I know it was sharp-ish before I started this, so we'll just see, see how sharp I can get it. 
Okay, I've put the plastic, um, well, the rubbery plastic bit back on and it it's now in the right position. So it's not getting in the way um, and it does hold the knife a lot better. So I'm just going to speed this bit up. Okay, we'll try with the piece of paper now. This would not have cut very well before. I don't know if it will now. Actually, that is a hell of a lot sharper than it was. It wouldn't have been able to do that before, genuinely. Still not super sharp, but I've only done it for two minutes, genuinely. Let's have a look on newspaper. That's normally the best test because, yeah. Because normally it will just rip it, so let's have a look. No. Okay, so it's still it's still not super sharp, but I've only literally used this thing for a few minutes. Um, but I've got to say, I'm quite impressed. Um, it is definitely, sh it, even though I went straight with the 3000 grit, rather than working my way up from, some. I'd probably say about, I should have gone from about 800 upwards with this, because it was already sharp-ish, but it wasn't super sharp. But... It has definitely sharpened that blade up a good deal in minutes. Um, obviously, the fact that the back doesn't stay down very well and the front doesn't. The second you move this over, the front wants to um, the front ones want to pop up. So that's, there's two negatives with this. The back doesn't want to stay down and the front's not very secured either. And the fact that this knife holder here, this bit here, with or without this bit of plastic. It doesn't hold the knives very well. It help, holds kitchen knives like this, quite thin things, okay, but when you get up to your thicker blades it doesn't want to hold it very well. But the results are absolutely brilliant for the, the two minutes I've tried it. Um, I'm going to take my knife from upstairs and I'm going to put that through its paces because the one I've got upstairs has been used more as an axe and various other things and hasn't been sharpened in such a long time. So I'll do that and I'll, I'll probably go from, again, probably only about 800. I don't need to go any lower, really. Um, and then I'll work my way up through them all. And let's see what, how sharp I can get that. So this is my beat it to a pulp knife. This is more like a, a bludgeoning weapon than an actual knife. I use it for cutting logs and various other things like that. It's got a bit of a bit sharp sort of here, but as you go down here, literally it's there's no blade on it at all really. So let's see how this fares. Let's see if we can get this with a nice sharp edge. If if we can get a sharp edge on this, um, then I would definitely say that this is quite a good uh, bit of kit. See, it doesn't want to hold a big knife at all. Right. Let's change our stone. I'll go 800, I think. Right, with the 800 grit you can actually see the bevel appearing again, which is handy.
I'm on the 1500 grit. This is the 2000 grit by the way. Okay, so that was the final grit. I do have polishing stones and various other things, but not for this type of knife. This one's designed for taking down trees, not gutting small animals. Although, any knife, if you can get it sharp enough, can do all jobs to some degree. Let's have a test, shall we? Okay. I've got to say, I'm not sure this has ever been this sharp before.
this knife was, you know, has been battered and bruised since I got it. And I haven't really taken care of it because I use it as a, as I say, a, more of an axe than a, a knife. But honestly, that is now extremely sharp. It's just under being able to shave. It's it's taking the hairs off a bit, but um, you know, nowhere near a cutthroat razor sharp. But considering that took me what five minutes, and that is sharp. Now I'll have to remember that when I'm using it. To be honest, I'm really impressed with this. This setup here is, you know, absolutely brilliant. For the price I paid for it, I think that is an absolute bargain. I'll definitely be sharpening more of my knives so I can have them all razor sharp. The one thing I will do as well is I am going to test to see if I can get an actual sh uh, knife to razor sharp. Now, I've, I've taken, what, five minutes on one and two minutes on another knife, you know. Um, I haven't done anywhere near what I'd need to do to get it to be properly razor sharp. And I wasn't being extremely strict with the bevels and all that sort of thing. However, the results I had from just quickly using it are very, very encouraging. I'm going to get a few more stones for it of different grits, um, hopefully going a bit higher. I'm thinking 6,000, 10,000 and maybe 25,000, but I don't know what they do it in, in the, the increments they do it in these ones. But um, I'm, I'm very happy with that. I think that that's actually a pretty good buy. I got it for about £11. Just the, the metal used in it was, you know, is near enough that. But yeah, I'm really happy. The two main drawbacks to it, it doesn't sit safely. It's, you know, it moves all around the place because the, the um, suction cups aren't any good. And then this, no matter how tight you have it on certain knives, it just won't hold them. You'll have seen me holding with one hand and doing with the other. But other than that, I'm really impressed. If I was to say, uh, to give my advice, I am, I would buy this for a friend if they needed a knife sharpener. Obviously, it only came with a few of the stones and it didn't go up to 3,000, but they must have cost me only about three or four pounds, you know, when I bought them ages ago. So it's not going to break the bank to buy new stones for it. Um, oh yeah, and one other negative then was the colour codes on this side. The colour's already come off, so, you know, not fabulous. Nothing that's going to damage it too much. I will now come up with a way of actually having this so that it will stay stuck to my bench so I don't have a mess with it and a way of making this um, a lot better at holding different knives. But other than that, yeah, very impressed. Hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped you. Um, if you're thinking about getting one, um, as long as they are de genuinely all the same because there's lots of different sellers out there, as long as what you're getting is exactly the same, I would genuinely recommend this. Thanks for watching, I will see you again soon. Bye.